Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about the Kos KC75. Now, I already ordered it via Amazon, I'm supposed to get it pretty shortly and of course there are lots of things that I want to share with you once I get it, but the thing is that, well, why I actually got it, why it's so praised, and what actually make a cheap one so good compared to others, why can't other manufacturer make something, well, at least as good? I mean, I bought it for $20. So yeah, this is interesting stuff. And of course, once I get it, I'm gonna share with you from a gamer's perspective, of course, uh, and try my best to keep it well, well understandable. Because you know, sometimes when you hear things in different terms, it's sometimes hard to understand. If you somebody speak to you with audio file terms that you don't understand, I try to again do both, but try to transfer the most in the most accurate way so you can understand and how it actually affects uh, my audio audio file journey in general as a gamer. So before we move on to some interesting stuff, let's take a look at the official website. You can see this is for the KSC 75. You can see big sound, small size, ultra lightweight, what's inside, titanium coated drivers, how they made, the best performance for an extended frequency response, uh, open air design. One of the reasons I was actually interested in trying it out before buying open back headphones Perfect fit, simple connection. Now, from what I've read, the Cos C75 uh, headphones are kind of a marvel in the world of affordable high fidelity audio. Uh, kind of an, have a fascinating history that's as intriguing as their sound quality. They were launched in 2004, pretty ancient. Uh, the KC75 uh, served as a more accessible successor to the Cos KC35 bringing the exceptional audio performance costs is unknown for to a wider audience. Uh, this ear clip style headphones quickly gained uh, popularity for their outstanding imaging capabilities, making them a favorite among competitive gamers and audiophiles alike. Now, another thing that sets it apart uh, is not just the price point, but its ability to deliver competitive age in gaming environments. Gamers have allowed that their headphones for their superior directionality and special audio qualities, especially in titles like CSGO, Valorant, Fortnite, Apex Legends, you know, and so on. Uh, the ability to accurately locate enemies through sound alone can transform gameplay, offering a strategic advantage that's, well, hard to beat. Now, over the years, the K75 has uh, remained a staple in the gaming community, recommended for anyone seeking to elevate your gameplay with advanced audio strategies. Its enduring popularity underscores course uh, commitment to quality, innovation, and value, making the Cos K75 a legendary piece in the audiophile and gaming worlds. This is basically one type of uh, headphones that really stood the test of time. Now, at the time when it was released, the market was flooded with expensive options, and the KX KC75 emerge as a breath of fresh air, offering exceptional clarity and fidelity at a fraction of the cost. And its unique clip-on design challenged a conventional headband style, providing comfort and ease of use for listeners on the go. Now, upon its release, the KC75 was met with some skepticism. Uh, how could something so affordable deliver on its promise uh, of high fidelity sound? it didn't take long for these doubts to turn into widespread acclaim. Elder Reviews praised the KC75 for its open, airy soundstage and detailed reproduction of mids and highs, kind of a rarity in its price range. Its ability to deliver nuanced, balanced audio without the need for amplification made it an instant classic. Now, of course, it depends who you ask. If you ask gamers, uh, some say, you know, for um, competitive gaming, the KC precise soundstage offers an unparalleled advantage. Uh, the ability to hear footsteps in directional cues with clarity can be the difference between victory and defeat. Uh, despite its, the lack of booming bass, uh, the detailed audio allows for immersive gameplay across genres. And regarding audio files, uh, the audio file community has long celebrated the KSC75 for its refined sound, its mid-bass emphasis, and forward-upper mid-range response, 
deliver uh, both delivering a listening experience that rivals headphones many times its price. It's a testament to cost commitment to quality audio for everyone. Regarding competitive FPS players uh, in the role of competitive FPS where every sound cue counts, this headset uh, has proven to be a reliable tool. Its excellent positional accuracy allow players to pinpoint enemy movement with ease, providing a competitive edge. So overall, despite its modest price, the Cost KC75 stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with more expensive headsets for some of them. Of course, there are of course much better ones, um, including uh, challenges the notion that higher price equals better quality providing that exceptional sound can be achieved without breaking the bank. But still, what makes the Cos KC75 sound so good? Well, first of all, from what I've read is the driver design uh, that features dynamic drivers known for their ability to reproduce uh, a wide range of frequencies with clarity and detail. The size and material of the drivers, um, these headphones are optimized for efficient sound reproduction contributing to their ability to deliver clear highs and mids. There's also the open back design, uh, unlike closed back headphones that can sometimes result in a boxed in sound, uh, the open back design of the KS 75 allows for more natural sound stage. This design helps in creating sense of space and depth in audio, making it feel like the sound is coming from, well, around the listener rather than directly from the headphones. And the more I read on Reddit, many people actually pointed into the tuning and frequency response. The tuning of the headphone uh, involves adjusting the sound signature to achieve a desired audio quality. And the KC75 is tuned to emphasize clarity and detail in the mid and high frequencies, which is particularly appealing for vocal and instrumental music, as well as gaming, where details like footsteps and environmental sounds are crucial. The slight emphasis on the mid-bass in forward upper mid-range contributes to a lively and engaging sound profile. Aside from that, I also mentioned uh, about comfort and fit. Uh, it's a lightweight design with a clip-on style that ensures comfortable fit that can be worn for extended periods without fatigue. So allowing users to focus on the audio content and also for gamers who are going to play for long play sessions. And the volume and performance, volume and performance ratio, of course, are taken into account as well. Alongside that, there's also the impedance and sensitivity. These technical specifications affect how loud headphones can get and how they can interact with different audio sources. And the KC75 specifications are balanced to ensure they're easy to drive, even with mobile uh, devices, without sacrificing sound quality. So yeah, a lot of these little headphones, but at the end of the day, well, I need to try it myself. Whether it's overhyped, not good for me, or really as good as others say, I'm going to share with you once I get them. Of course, I'm going to compare and play with different games, and I'm going to share with you exact details as, as possibly I can to really give you the understanding of that from both, again, an audiophile and gamer's perspective. So make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.